Hey guys, it's Tori. So today, me and bestie Alexia are doing a book shop with me. I haven't officially done a video like this yet. I've done vlogs where I go shopping for books, but today is literally all about books. So we are at Half Price Books right now, and later we're gonna go to Barnes, and we're gonna grab lunch and go to Target. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my face, and let's get started. It is many hours later and we are going to do a book haul. I went a little feral, um, a little excessive, but most of the books were on my TBR list and Alexia is a horrible influence on me. So let's do a book haul. So half price books you guys saw is where we went first and I got three books there. First one I got is new moon this is the last book in the twilight series i don't already own and i just wanted to have the last one to finish off my collection and it was only 5.49 next i got a brand new bestseller which i was already gonna purchase and they had it on sale this is talia hibbert highly suspicious and unfairly cute i literally had this in my amazon cart i was gonna buy it and then I saw it and it was only $11.19, so I bought it. And this is a really, really cute cover. I'm literally obsessed with that. Like, that is so cute. Um, I don't 1,000% remember what this is about, but I believe it is a football player romance. I don't know. I think it looks really cute. And um, the last book I got there was one I've seen here and there, and the cover's just really cute. And this is... Elisa Thompson's Love in the Time of Serial Killers. I've seen this all over TikTok and BookTube. At least it, I did a few months ago and I just feel like the cover is literally so freaking cute. This, I read the back and it sounds really good. I believe it's kind of like a mystery slash romance. Don't 1000% remember the synopsis, but I'm not going to read it to you either. So that was everything I got at half priced books and then barnes and noble is where i just kind of blacked out this bag is so heavy literally so heavy okay so i got a lot of fantasy because i'm absolutely obsessed with the avatar series so far i finished the first two books so freaking good five stars and so 
um alexia ended up buying the third one in the series because i already own the whole series and then she also bought the first one in the crescent city series i can't exactly remember what it's called but i did a little bit of damage i did a little bit of damage and then i went to target guys they had the cutest clothes and i spent so much money but anyways i got hooked by emily mcintyre or mcintyre this is um the never after series this is the first one in the series this literally sounds so good it's basically like spinoffs on um disney villains but in romance form literally this sounds so freaking good i'm so excited to read it um, this was on my TBR for a while and I saw it on their, I think it was their book talk table and I said, okay, we're gonna grab it. I have to have it. The next one is one that Sarah Caroli is obsessed with and, um, Alexia got for Christmas and we saw it and she's like, you just need to get it. You just have to. And I said, okay, if you say so. And that is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Manscalico. I hope I said that right. But this is another fantasy, um... Once again, not 1,000% sure what it's about, but it sounds good. I've heard really good things about it. It's highly raved, so of course, we picked her up. Next is one I haven't seen a whole lot about recently, but I saw the cover, and I was like, that sounds really familiar. And then I read the synopsis, and it sounded really good. This is Promises and Pomegranates by Sav R. Miller. Um, this one sounds kind of like Dark Academia-esque. But I think with a bit of fantasy, if I'm not mistaken, I don't thousand percent remember. But this is the first one in the series. I believe there's a second and possibly a third. I don't fully remember, but I've heard a little bit about this one. And it just sounds really, really good. So I'm super excited. And the cover is literally stunning. Look at that. Oh my god, obsessed. Next one is one that I talked about in my anticipated reads video. And this is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie. Oh my gosh, I got two books by her. What was the other one? I didn't know that she wrote Kingdom of the Wicked as well. Okay, that's kind of exciting. But um, it's Stalking Jack the Ripper. And this one is literally about a girl who loves and stalked Jack the Ripper. And... Um, I'm very excited. Very excited. I talked about this in my video and it just sounds amazing. It's a fantasy, obviously, a romance as well. So, the cover's super cute as well. Very excited. This last one, I was not planning on getting, but you can blame Miss Alexia for the reason I bought it and also Larissa from Larry Reads. This is the first Mariana Zapata book I have ever bought. And I don't know if there will be more. I'm not sure. But it's The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. The cover's really cute. Um, this is a football player romance, I believe. And once again, not exactly sure what it's about. But I've heard a lot of good things about Mariana Zapata. I've heard she's pretty, pretty spicy, if I'm not mistaken. But they had this one and lukov with love i think is that what the other one's called that's the other one they had by her but that one i just don't want to read i don't know why if i love this maybe i'll pick that one up then but last book of the haul so with all that being said i got a pretty big stack of books so they are very heavy this is all the books i bought today um do i need to buy more books anytime soon absolutely fucking not did i need any of these once again absolutely not but i bought them anyways because i've been just a little depressed so i needed to buy new books you know to cure the depression that i've been having so books fix everything so that is the end of my book shop with me i hope you guys enjoyed um this is the first one i've ever done so i hope the footage turned out good i'm not sure yet because i have not switched it over to start editing it yet but let's just pray that it's good i'm a little nervous i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe to my face let me know if there's any other books that I absolutely need to buy. And I will see you guys next time. I love you all very much. And I'll see you. Bye.